Welcome guys, today I'm going to be reviewing a box of Centennial Olympic Games Collection, uh, Volume 1. I doubt they did a Volume 2, but this was by Collect-A-Card. And this is, the Collect-A-Card, for those of you who are not familiar, is a company that, that did kind of specialty cards, novelty cards. They did cards about cars and stuff like that. So they did basically General Olympics here. This is what the, the pack looks like. And the, the set that they, they have is 120 cards and it is basically pictures from various Olympic Games as well as art. So some, some pretty interesting shots, but this is, it's a weird set to go through because since we're, we're normally used to, to cards about athletes, so they have athletes like Bruce Jenner here. They have athletes kind of intermixed, but it's, it's a jumbled up set that, that looks at pretty much all facets of the Olympics, which is, it, it's a very interesting approach that they took to the set, which does not, it doesn't really read too excitingly when you're going through the, through the cards. As I was opening up each one of the packs, I found that, that I would not even look at the front of the cards. I would immediately turn them over and orient the cards and then stack them so that later on I could, I could file them away. The, the card fronts never, never intrigued me. Now the pic, that doesn't mean the pictures did not intrigue me. They most definitely did. Every time I'd look at certain pictures like this, I, I was, um, I was uh, curious about checking it out later on, but that's, that's the thing about opening these packs was it was all about checking the cards out later. It wasn't about the experience with the exception of the inserts. So it, it was kind of a weird process to go through, but I did get, I did get one full set and I got uh, a really good number of doubles, but the doubles with this, they don't really matter that much because like I said, they do have some, some athletes like Jesse Owens and uh, Bruce Jenner, as we saw, so there are some some people of significance, but it's kind of the 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 intrigue with the set is the inserts. So first off, this was in '96, and Pogs had had their run, but they Pogs still had kind of a place, and so with this set, they had these these little uh, milk cap inserts in every single pack, and there's there are 20 in a set. I got 15. I didn't get the full set, but they're they're actually really neat because they're they're the the medallions. Um, I guess it's the it's what the medals look like. I'm not entirely sure exactly what what the key to these medallions is, but they're they're little discs. They're I mean they're they're pogs or milk caps. That uh, that's exactly what they are. They look great though because they have the, they have strong colors and they have a um, try to get the the light just right. It's tough with these, really tough. So they're very lively, but they have a uh, a striated metallic pattern to them so that they're they're vibrating light constantly and they have a um, kind of a rainbowish um, pattern around the outside. Actually, this this might be a, a good one to use. So, uh, oh no, it's a terrible one to use, <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what these things are, one per pack. Like I said, I got 15 out of the 20, so I got plenty of doubles. But they, they're, they're difficult to remember they're in there because sometimes they just fall right out and you gotta chase them around. Other times you can open up a pack, pull all the cards out and then forget to go back and get it. But they also had two insert sets and one of them is posters and these these also use this brushed metal technique or it's kind of like the Dufex from from uh, Pinnacle. And they also had the the metals as well. It's you know, with the lights it's tough to tough to really get this get these to read right. But the metals I got uh, numbers one, two, and three. I don't know how big the set is. The medals cards are really, really impressive cards. They they look fantastic. Uh, there we go. Get the the light down a bit. Um, they're they're all this this uh, purple, uh, dark purple to pink fade with the um, with interesting design work around them. The um, they are the torches. That's that's what these these are. Um, but the movie po or the the Olympic posters, on the other hand, are just you know the posters for each Olympics. And I got three of what looks like a ten uh, set of ten. And this one I love, although you can't see it. I love it because it's the tents of the München Olympics. So these were really fun to get every once in a while. And these cards are not extra glossy. They're they're lightly glossy, so they didn't stick together. There wasn't an issue like that. And then with these, they were um, they didn't have they, they didn't run into a, a problem of at least with this box. Maybe the box was stored well, but I didn't have any problem with the integrity of the cards. So they all came out great. And like like I said. 
they are gorgeous they're just not flashy they don't jump out and and really stand out on their own these are the kinds of of images that you want as posters you don't really want them so much as cards which is which makes it interesting because it's a set you just want to spend some time staring at as far as opening a box it's boring as far as having the set it's a really impressive set to uh to be able to just enjoy uh, enjoy having and, and taking some time with and so if if you're into cards that aren't just about sports specifically this i've found is especially with collector cards where they they have almost like uh, miniature posters but you know they're they're just kind of posters there there's nothing uh, really dynamic about it these cards actually do have a dynamism to them that on an individual basis that just makes them, them fascinating to explore. So as far as the experience of opening a, uh, up a box, I would say eh, it, it was kind of boring, but I'm so glad that I did it because I'm glad that I have the set. So it's, that's, really, that's really the key to this. If, if you get a chance to open it because you want the set, definitely go for it. If you're doing it because you're bored, it'll give you something to do after you're done opening the box. That's kind of my how I would go go about explaining it, but that's that's kind of my uh, my view of it. So um, thank you very much for watching and uh, check out my uh, my next box review. Thanks.